Hey guys, welcome back. We got another racket review today. It's an interesting one, the E-Zone 98 Tour. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, check the specs, and then get into it. We've got some really good reviews in the works this month, including the V-Core 95, V-Core 98, and the Babolat Pure Aero 98. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those upcoming reviews. All right, so let's get this thing out of the bubble wrap here so we can take a look at it. I actually really enjoy the paint job on this. Um, unlike the V-Core, the new V-Core series, I think they really nailed this paint job. What do you guys think? All right, so let's go ahead and check the specs. I have written there in red what Yonex say the specs should be. So let's do a little quality control and see what the specs actually are. So for the weight with the handle wrap still on, it should be about 317.5 grams. And this one comes in at just over 315 grams. So maybe just a couple grams under spec, not too bad. So with any of these heavier rackets, the 315 gram, 320 gram range, uh, it's not a big deal if you're a couple grams under spec. As we go ahead and check the balance here, it should be 320 millimeters. And you'll see here that we did in fact get 320 millimeters. All right, and so let's go ahead and move on to get the swing weight here. Yonex doesn't put the swing weight for this racket on their website, uh, but I looked over at Tennis Warehouse and from everything I found there, it should be right around 300. So here we get 299. Let's go ahead and check it one more time. $299. So it looks like great quality control with this stick. We lucked out. Now let's go ahead and get it strung up and check the specs again once it's strung. All right, and we're back. We got it all strung. I have on the third line there in red again what Tennis Warehouse says the strung specs should be. Starting with the weight, it should be about 332 grams and we get just over 330 grams. The balance when it was unstrung was right on spec, and so the strung balance should be pretty close as well. You'll see here that we get a balance of 332 millimeters. All right, so moving on to get the swing weight here, we know that strings should add somewhere in the realm of 30 swing weight points. We were at 299. Tennis Warehouse has their strung swing weight listed at 332. And wouldn't you know, that's what we get as well. Let's go ahead and double check here. 332 it is. All right, so we are looking really good on specs with this racket. Now it's time to take it on court and see how it performs. As we get into the review here, we're going to start with serves. And the E-Zone 98 Tour was quite simply a great serving racket. Uh, it swings quickly overhead for its weight, and it really allows you to bomb some serves with just a good fluid motion. It offers some good control as well, and there was little to no adjustment needed when serving with the E-Zone Tour. If you take a look at this serve here, it gives you a prime example of what the E-Zone Tour provides. It's just a flat serve, and it's bouncing up like four feet high once it reaches the back wall. We're gonna hit a few slice serves now and the E-Zone Tour also performed well on these. We'll slide the first few into the body here and you can see that the ball is moving pretty well. And next we'll slide a couple out wide. You can see here as we hit these serves, the ball is gonna cut nicely away from the opponent and still has some pretty good pace on it as well. I didn't film any kick serves, but just like on the slice serve, the ball was spinning nicely. Um, and it was a really good serving racket there as well. Okay, and so next up we're going to talk about ground strokes. This is my very first rally from the baseline, and you can see that it doesn't take long to get adjusted to the E-Zone Tour at all. I especially enjoyed hitting backhands with this racket. The racket is crisp and powerful, but with a nice dash of control. It also flexes well and feels like the ball really dwells in the strings for a while, which gives me the confidence to go for a bit more when hitting backhands or trying to flatten the ball out. 
The racket also perform well on slices. These are the first ones I hit with the racket and you can see there's not much adjustment needed. All right, so let's take a minute to look at this next point here. This is a good example of how comfortable I felt with the racket on the backhand side in pretty much little to no time. On the forehand side, the racket was good as well. I typically like a racket that's either very control oriented or very spin oriented on my forehand side. So that way I can confidently take cuts at the ball. This racket does not have that scalpel like precision and it's not a spin monster either, but I still really enjoyed hitting forehands with it. It felt maneuverable for its weight and it also felt super versatile and allowed me to feel comfortable hitting a variety of shots. I really enjoyed the racket on returns as well. It felt plenty maneuverable and the weight made it nice and stable. Right. Volleys were solid as well. While it doesn't offer the most direct point and shoot feel at net, it held its own and the good combination of maneuverability and stability again, proved useful. As we finish up the review with some more point play, let's talk about who this racket is for. The E-Zone Tour is a great all around racket for a strong all court player. The E-Zone Tour would provide a seductive level of versatility to these advanced level players. It would provide a bit more power and help on defense than a typical player frame and would offer a bit more control and feel than something like a pure arrow or a pure drive. This point here is a pretty good example of that versatility. Okay, so that's all for the review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content.